I can hear George. <laughs> You're so predictable. Yes, you are. <laughs> I hope you are all well. Guys, this video, get ready for your Christmas cheer because this video has got it all. I'm not even kidding. If you are feeling not so festive, still watch because I'm hoping that the music choices I've made will cheer you up. I have brilliant new shopping with me. Not Christmas shopping, but like looking around the shops shopping. And then at the end, I'm gonna show you what I picked up. I definitely got some things in this video. It's not like the Halloween haul where there was nothing at the end. <laughs> Today, I got a few things. I'm saying today, I'm filming this intro days after I filmed the whole video and the outro. So this is just a random Sunday morning because the video goes out tonight. And I was like, I haven't done an intro. So I thought I'd bring George in um, to say hello. Okay, and also the first shop we went to was Pets at Home. I'm not filming that because it wasn't really a Christmassy thing. I just needed to get some food. But in the video, you do hear me saying that I had to go to Pets at Home and I was sitting outside Pets at Home in the car park and I forgot to show you what I got here. <laughs> Somebody help me, okay? Listen, in my defense, <laughs> in my defense, George is fully grown now, full grown. We didn't go crazy last Christmas because he was still growing. He's done growing now. He's gonna be like two in February um, and yeah, he's done growing. So now he has his um, autumn jumper and his Christmas jumper. Yeah, the foxes were the autumn jumper and this is gonna be his Christmas jumper. He's also got a generic jumper. So that's it, I, I'm, I won't, I, 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 will I? Oh, no, I won't, will I? I won't be buying him like 10 Christmas jumpers, will I? I won't, I won't, I promise. But how cute is it? It's in the size small, perfect for him. But Tim was like, is that a Christmas jumper? I'm like, no, it's not actually, all right? You can eat gingerbread any time of year, actually. <laughs> he loves it, genuinely. He was like, that's adorable. But yay, say hi, George. He's looking at the camera for the first time ever. Um, I hope you enjoy. This is super festive. So, you know, do all of the things. And I hope you love the video and love what I've got. So excited. Snow is falling uh, uh, all around you. Do, do, do. Children playing. I'm here and my first stop was, of course, Pets at Home. So I am in the same car park that you see me in a lot of the time. I am directly around the back of Pets at Home. I just had to go in and get some more dog food for George. Um, he goes through these phases of just eating the chicken and the turkey. He won't touch the beef. He just won't touch it. And then when we run out of chicken and turkey, I give him the beef and it's like he knows that's the only option and he'll eat it. So, oh, I love him. <laughs> I love him. Um, I might have also got him in a Christmas jumper. But in my defence, I have no defence. Okay, <laughs> next stop is going to be Dunelm. I wasn't going to go to Dunelm, but Dunelm is right next door to Pets at Home. Uh, like three shops down. So I figured I might as well, while I'm up this end of Lakeside, I might as well go down Elm and see what they've got in. Oh, someone's just parked in front of me. The actual audacity. I can't just drive out now. I have to reverse. <laughs> oh my gosh, first world problems. Um, anyway, my outfit for today is um, whatever fit me. Um, whatever fit, I've got my leggings on, my black leggings, and a black vest, a black top over the vest, a shirt and a coat um it's freezing it's actually cold and i love it i love this weather it's cold outside but the fire keeps us warm we can spend the night underneath the mistletoe and i've gotten you a present that i put under the tree tomorrow it is christmas
Dan Elm was underwhelming. I think, was it? No, it was Matalan. Dan Elm, uh, yeah, I'm really surprised. I was expecting a Christmas grotto when, as soon as I walked into Dan Elm, but there's literally like two shelves and the, they're not grabbing me. There was no real mm, feeling. So that was easy. In and out, Bob's your uncle. I have just spotted Matalan. Now I said in my Halloween haul video, not that I bought anything for Halloween, <laughs> that I don't usually go to Matalan, but now I know where it is. I might just pop in there as well. But I am just outside TK Maxx. So Lakeside, you might not, you probably won't know the area. All of the shops are like outskirts, you know, like retail park. And they're kind of like up and down and up and down. And there's a system, okay? There's a system. So if I start at the pet shop, I don't feel so bad. Then I've got George sorted. Then I can chill. I can just chill and do my own thing. So coming down the hill from the pet shop brings you to TK Maxx, um, George at Asda, and um, Poundland I won't bother with, Marks and Spencer's outlet. Yeah, TK Maxx and George Asda are right next to each other. So I'm going to go there now. Then I'll drive back round, round the other round about to Matalan. Then I'll finish up at the range and B&M and that's it. That's it. Let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is pouring. It will always be Christmas in my heart. But this year I want to hang out with my friends and family. Making angels in the sand you read me. Doesn't matter if it's Christmas in my Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Oh, and the sun said It is just getting better On a blanket with the skyline Painted in blue Ooh, yeah, that's what we do We'll be chilling and having a good, good Santa's gonna come and join us in this song oh, yeah. about this it's closed down your closest store is now Asda Tilbury looks like there's quite a lot of movement happening at Lakeside Retail Park so the fact that Asda Living was closed has really thrown me off I am shooketh that Asda has closed like Asda is one of the cheapest home brand stores that's where I got all my towels from for the bathroom so that's a recent closure now my thoughts are that they're actually going to reopen somewhere down on the lower levels because the area I'm in now, let me sh 
I don't actually know if you even care about this, but this is like the main like side area. Everyone kind of knows this area as having most of the big shops, like the range, we've got Next Home, we've got B&M, Smith's Toy Superstore. Now, Smith's Toy Superstore used to be on the upper levels. And I think it's just a quieter area of the retail park. So they have navigated down here. And over here is a big empty retail space. And it says home bargains coming soon. Well, home bargains are also up on the upper levels that not many people go to. So that's my thought on, wow, I'm thinking really deeply into this. But that's my, that's my theory as to why Asda has closed. Because it's on the upper levels. This is the most popular area so i think asda is going to come down here wherever there's a space i think asda is going to fit in um because if that's going to be home bargains that means oh maybe that means that something's happening with the buildings on the upper levels if they're all closing and navigating down that might be that might be it might not it also might not be i might be talking out of my right anyway we're gonna go to the range and then we're gonna go over to b&m and over there is home sense which is the sister store of so yeah let's go now the range i think everyone would agree that the range has the biggest christmas selection out of any of these retail park stores um the problem is it's november already and uh, chances are i've lost out on seeing a lot of it um people get in early here um yeah i think people pretty much start shopping in the range from around September onwards so it's November we'll see making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep yeah I spend my time running around Keeping people please But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill to be making our Christmas memories oh and I've been longing to hold you close forget about everyone else isn't this how it's supposed to be making our Christmas memories To come back home to me And when we wake up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies Until the sun comes up These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it Christmas memories, oh, and I've been longing to hold you close, forget about everyone else, isn't this how it's supposed to be, making our Christmas memories, oh, oh, la da 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 oh, 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 making our Christmas memories, yes, yeah, these are the good with you don't even care what we do if i spend it with you mm -hmm. just you and nobody else it's so good to see you again to see you again baby this year it's just gonna be you and me Let's 
go outside, the snow is falling down And every child is having so much fun The snowman is twice the size as me With a smile as quirky as mine We're holding hands to keep each other warm While we stand and watch a choir perform And all the Christmas songs that we love Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love and in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you Kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. Ooh. I'm making plans for what we're gonna do. I feel so blessed that I can be with you. Cause God knows that I've been longing for you. Yeah, I just wanna hold you close. You know the stars are shining just for you. Let's take a walk and we can follow the moon. Not till we reach a place we can stay. Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby with the range, guys, I could spend, well, I feel like I did. I could spend hours in there, just hours. Every color scheme, under the sun, the garlands that I wanted. I don't know if you remember, back a few, loads of videos back, I went into the range and when they just started their Christmas and the garlands that I wanted were there, but I thought, I'll leave it and I'll get them later. Big mistake, they've all gone. Everything's looking a little bit picked over. Um, so that whilst there's still tons of stuff in there, it's just looking a little bit shabby a little bit shabby um but i did get something i did get something and now i'm gonna head over to smith's toy store i'm just gonna pick up the grandbaby's christmas present um she wants a scooter a coco melon scooter so i'm gonna go in and get that and then i'm gonna go to b m and see what they've got and then the final shop is gonna be the home sense the home sense no home sense tk maxx's um sister store um, <laughs> I completely forgot about Matalan. I was going to go to Matalan after Asda, but it threw me off that Asda had closed down. And I was just like, yeah, I just drove. I just drove straight here to the range. So I'm going to drive around now. The place is packed. You know, when you think you're just going to get out early on a Friday afternoon, everyone had the same idea. It is ram packed here. Um, so I'm going to drive to the other stores just because they're a little bit too far to walk and I'm lazy. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll hopefully, hopefully get a parking space. It was the night before Christmas. I was closing down for business in my little prison shop. was so busy at the checkout I honestly just got a couple of bits and then I got to the checkout and people had whole trolleys so yeah their decorations aren't really 
my cup of tea they're not really my vibe but i did get my christmas scents and my christmas cleaning stuff have i just <laughs> have i just sprayed the car with airwick mulled wine yes yes i have does it smell like christmas in here yes yes it does <laughs> is tim gonna hate it <laughs> oh i'm so mean to him um as you saw the blue sky earlier it has actually got hotter and hotter as the day's gone on my scarf has come off i was literally like oh, it's so hot um but yeah sod's law isn't it you kind of dress for the weather when you leave your house and then within an hour it's hot it's hot anyway the sun it's too much for me it's too much for me i need sunglasses i've got one more shop to go to and i think i'm gonna call it a day i've already been out two hours um maybe haven't filmed that much but yeah i'm gonna go to home sense because oh gosh i know that their christmas things are gonna like make my heart melt so home sense then home via greg's <laughs> the next day and i am upstairs because george i tried filming this downstairs but honestly he wants in on the action and it it got a bit hard and he just wanted to chew two of the things that i bought and he kept literally chew, like grabbing them and taking them away from me so i'm upstairs i've got my christmas hoodie on hold on can you see it it's the most wonderful time of the year boom boom anyway <laughs> i made this um hoodie last christmas over on my other channel claire's crafty corner i've got a heat press so i made my own christmas hoodie and anyway i figured it's red it's fitting it's a bit big you know when you order something because you want it oversized and it's massive up here but then it doesn't even go over your hips <laughs> i was like why why is it so tight there anyway so yeah it doesn't hang loose but it, it kind of hugs me okay 
I didn't go crazy. I didn't go super crazy, but I did get a few bits that I wanted and needed. Do you ever really need things? But that's not the point. Okay. First up, we went in to whatever shop. It was yesterday. So how am I expected to remember yesterday? TK Maxx. TK Maxx was the first shop and I had to get this. I just fell in love with it. I absolutely fell in love with it. Now, it's a perfect gift set. So this was $12.99 and you get these huge mugs these kind of like fair isle print mugs and two sachets of hot chocolate mix double chocolate hot chocolate mix isn't that the most perfect gift for anyone a friend or a couple if you know any two people um i didn't get it as a gift because i'm a little bit selfish like that i got it for the mugs <laughs> i got it for the mugs because the mugs are gorgeous um so yeah this is for me this is for me and me alone um so it's a gift to myself but i just think at 12 pounds 99 it's just the most perfect gift especially like for secret santa if your budget at your secret santa wherever you're doing that is around the 10 to 15 pounds mark bargain i'm gonna take them out i'm gonna take them out because i can and they're for me because i really want to have a look at these mugs and um take a closer look but um okay Okay, so okay so this is what it's looking like these are the christmas sachets makes it look like they're a lot bigger than they are but they're not. um and the mugs themselves claire don't break your mugs don't break your oh i could keep the rope as well how cute is the rope always keep the rope and the tags and it's and a little bit tricky a little bit tricky oh i love it is big guys it is big and chunky and yes, a decent cup of tea will be had in these. I could say like one, oh, that's just glue. One for me, one for Tim, but no, no, two for me. Two for me. I've mentioned it in a previous video. Tim is a December baby, so he's got no time. No time for Christmas. Until, sorry, there's like glue stuck to the bottom of these that has obviously kept them in place. Um, no time for Christmas, but how gorgeous are they? So, so pretty. I love anything Fair Isle. I just recently did a video where I did like polymer clay with a Fair Isle screen print. Oh, don't break them. Yeah, I got it for the mugs. I got it for the mugs and I got it for me. Another thing that I got from TK Maxx, or was it Home Sense? I'm getting confused with the two stores. Yeah, TK Maxx. Um, I got the Christmas wrapping paper. Let me get the angles. We've got the brown with the red tree, the stereotypical red truck, although it's a car, with the tree on top, with the red rope that actually matches the rope from that, and then a plain red. But I love this colour scheme. This is more my colour scheme. Like when I decorate for Christmas, I'm very much down the tartans, traditional reds golds genre um that's me that's me to a t i stick to the same decorations every single year sometimes i'll buy three or five new ball balls but they will all match into that color scheme i don't change scheme year after year after year because i'm not rich like that um but yes absolutely love this wrapping paper i have got a similar one that i bought last year from tk maxx it had the actual truck with the tree but it i don't think it was part of a three pack but this is beautiful so oh my gosh the angles claire the angles it's hard to film this um continuous roll 30 foot 30 foot that's a lot sorry 30 <laughs> it's not 30 foot it's not 30 foot at all it's 30 square meters <laughs> 30 foot it's taller than my house 30 square meters um it's the sleigh hill trade will go so red it's the sleigh hill trading co um yes 2.5 foot by four yards so yeah quite a bit quite a bit of paper they actually had a jumbo roll in there when i tell you it was this big and it was that fat in paper it was massive huge i think it was 10 or 15 pounds for this giant roll and i think it said something like 
all of your presents in one in one roll but i didn't get it okay next up we went to b and um their christmas decorations just left me wanting more they're not really weren't really my cup of tea i didn't see anything in there that screamed out at me apart from this I love blankets, I love I love snuggling, I love getting cosy, I love anything to do with tartan and that very typical, stereotypical Victorian traditional vintage Christmas, this. Now, it's going to go so nicely with our green sofas. I'm sorry, Macaulay Culkin, move over, home alone what, who? Because my living room is going to be home alone to the max with the reds and the greens this year now that we've got green sofas all of the reds are coming out tim doesn't probably know that subliminally 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 i'm thinking i need green sofas because all right yes okay i jumped on a trend they're trending at the moment but i genuinely wanted green sofas for christmas <laughs> shh don't tell him don't tell him if you don't tell him i won't tell him plus he won't be watching this because it's christmas content and i'm whispering because he's downstairs with georgia but <laughs> this is the simply everyday check sherpa check sherpa throw 130 by 160 centimeters and it was 15 pounds from b and m i will say one thing for b and m their throws and their cushion choices they're good they're really really good the last time I bought anything from B&M, I think it was concrete, quick set concrete. <laughs> so that's how much I shop in there. Um, I did get a couple other bits from B&M, but not tree decorations. The one thing I love most about Christmas, it's not for me, especially me and Tim, we're on the same page. It's not about money and how much we can spend on each person. It's about the feeling of Christmas. For me particularly, it's about the feeling, the nostalgia, the memories, the music. Simply having a wonderful Christmas. Careful, because I might get copyrighted. <laughs> it's about um, creating an environment that brings back all of this nostalgic, cosy feelings of Christmas. There aren't usually hundreds of presents under our trees um because we don't necessarily it's not like we spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds at christmas we don't but for me the biggest way to create that christmas mwah, is through scents and i mm, i'm telling you i've got about um four airwick dispensers airwick sh sh thingies units things that the, the the things i've got four so i bought two of these <laughs> to fill all four one will live upstairs one will live at the bottom of the stairs one will live out in the kitchen and then one will live in the living room so that my house stinks like santa's grotto stinks like santa's grotto and i will only start using these around about two weeks before christmas so that they don't run out too quick because i don't just go and refill 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 they're not cheap um so these were from b and m these are the mulled wine and clementine spice they're stunning i've had them for years i buy them every year without fail my house will smell like christmas whether tim likes it or not the other thing i bought which is what i sprayed the car with <laughs> i sprayed the life out of the car the airwick pure which is the this is the this is the um room spray that doesn't settle it doesn't i believe it doesn't just drop down in water pellets and you're walking on wet floors um this is the pure is this gonna be backwards for you guys i don't actually know i don't know um pure mulled wine from airwick this <sighs> can't explain it it gives me all of the feelings of that nostalgia that old christmas and i've read somewhere did i read somewhere am i making myself out to look smarter than i actually am i think i saw a tiktok actually <laughs> and they talked a lot about the fact that adults like me who love christmas so much we're trying to chase a feeling and it straight away resonated with me because i was like 
that's so true people that go all out at christmas adults that go all out at christmas and go overboard in some respects i go overboard in some ways but i don't go overboard in money and gifts i go overboard in the, the feeling of christmas the music i'm playing music already in my craft room um that we're trying to chase that feeling that we had when we were children or we're trying to chase the memory of what it felt like that magic we're trying to chase the magic and that makes so much sense to me because it's true and i guess maybe children today will be like this in 30 years time when they're preparing for christmas maybe they'll be trying to chase the memories they have right now in 2023 of what christmas was like for them but for me it was all about the 80s the music the tinsel the decorations the cheer the joy i don't i don't remember feeling like it was about the presents even then the gifts under the tree i remember a few special gifts that i came downstairs and i found a few special gifts that were already like made up but i don't remember christmas for me being about what was under the tree and i that's weird isn't it i remember the lights the tinsel the festivities the excitement the music the smells that is what it is for me so yeah it's definitely not about material materialistic money spend um so yeah anyway i love it so i got three <laughs> I got three because you can't have too many the one i am using at the moment i've had it in the cupboard about two years because obviously it only lasts for christmas i don't use this any other time of year because i want to save it for the christmas season next up we got some cleaning supplies now i've never used these before so i, I actually don't know what they smell like and i wanted to have a little spray in the shop but i didn't so these are the zaflora antibacterial multi-surface cleaning wipes seasonal scent winter spice this is what they look like um i don't even care that they kill bacteria <laughs> there's so much bacteria in my house it's not gonna get everywhere but um yeah let's have a let's have a whiff mm. i am pleasantly surprised i am pleasant or am i what was that No, they're Christmassy. They're definitely Christmassy, without a doubt. With spicy. They are. They're called winter spice. They're spicy. They're definitely spicy. I smell. I smell Christmas spice in there. Um, yeah. Happy about that. I'm gonna do all my kitchen cupboards. We're gonna do a Christmas clean with me. I'm gonna use these. And also, I bought the matching Zaflora spray. So those are the two matching cleaning products. Again, these will last me a couple of years. I'm not just going to try and use them all this year. And I probably won't buy any more next year um, because these will last. I'm only going to use them at Christmas. But yeah, I'm not going to spray this in here, but we'll see what it says. It says cuts through grease and lime winter spice. Hopefully it smells like the wipes because they are beautiful. There was a bit of an undertone there, but I'm loving the spiciness of it. So they are from B&M as well. All of the Christmas scents to bring back all of the nostalgia and all of that jazz. The final thing that I bought, I told you I didn't go crazy. The final thing that I bought, you would have seen it a few videos back because I saw it in the range and I said, nope, I'll come back to that and I'll get that when I do my Christmas shop with me, which was yesterday. And oh my goodness me, I couldn't resist him. He is so gorgeous. He's very poorly made, but he's so nice. Um, This gnome, we already have one or two of these. I think I gave one to my sister. I've got the red, you know, like the stereotypical red and white Christmas. And I think the other one we've got is gray and white. But obviously now I'm really into greens and I saw this little dude and I was like, I need to go back and get him because he's green. He's going to match everything. Um, and yeah, when I went back in, I was fully thinking they're all going to be gone. But they were literally, I think nobody wants green. Basically, lucky for me, nobody wants green. All of the other colours are gone. The, the greys, the whites, the reds all gone 
there was about 50 green still sitting on the shelves. So I was like, yay me. Um, this guy is quite a tall specimen. He is stunning. He's got a really tall hat. <laughs> and I love him. I love him so much. He was, here's the thing. He was $24.99. And part of me was like, oh, do I want to spend $24.99 on yet another gnome? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. My other gnomes that I got from the range years ago have still lasted me. They still come out every year. I look after them. Got to the checkout. It was £14. £14. <laughs> it's like the algorithm, like the range's algorithm was like, nobody's buying the green gnome. Reduce the price, reduce the price. £14. Bargain. Yeah, £14 for this guy. And he's tall. So I love him. I'm loving the green shimmery fabric, the fur, the nose, the beard. I love everything about him. So that is everything that I got. I got the wrapping paper, the mugs for me, the cleaning supplies and the gnome and the blanket. That is it. Apart from the grandbaby's scooter, which I picked up, which wasn't part of the Christmas haul. Um, I've got some things that have been arriving from... And that's why I find Christmas so hard. Me and Tim... And not just me and Tim, the world. We are spoiled. We are spoiled by Amazon Prime. We're spoiled by next day delivery. If we want something, we order it, we get it. It comes next day. So come Christmas, it's like, did you save anything for your list? <laughs> so yeah, I've had a few things coming through for Tim. Um, I won't speak too loudly and he's not going to watch this. But um, I've just got him. He loves the TV show called The Detectorists. Loves it it's all about these two guys well it's a group of people but main characters two guys who are like metal detectorists and it's almost like full the full monty sad it's it's got this dark sadness to it but it's just so funny and witty and but they never find anything <laughs> they never find anything they never find anything and at the end of every single episode you see them walking off in the distance and they are they're walking here and this big mountain of gold is under the ground just here. They just missed it every episode. And he's only just got me into it. I'm loving it so much. Anyway, got him the Detectorists DVD box set. Um, and also he loves like Rebus. He loves Vera. He loves all of those detector pro like detective, detective programs. Um, but there are some things he could watch over and over and over and again, and that is The Detectorist. He also loves Inside Number Nine, which I can't get behind. I find that um, it's just too weird for me. Um, so yeah, his birthday is obviously December, so I've got him The Detectorists for his birthday. And then I've got him some Luther. He loves Luther. I love Luther. Hello. <laughs> um, we both love Luther, so I got him the Luther box set for Christmas and also vera um but yeah so yeah they've been coming in the post every other day i also got him some like stationery like notebooks and pens which he uses on a daily basis for work so just a little couple of little stocking fillers but yeah he's not gonna watch this so it won't matter that i'm telling you guys just don't tell him what i've got him but that is it that is my christmas shop with me i didn't get any decorations that's fine because i've got ample and yeah if i don't if i don't need any more decorations i won't just buy decorations but you always need a mug you always you always need a mug so um hope you've enjoyed and i will see you in the next video